So here's a quick rundown of how to get F4 Radar started and how to get into game as soon as possible. So first, you need to go to BMS Forums, search F4 Radar. In the search bar, it'll come up. I will also have the link in the description below. Once you get on this website, on this page, you go to Download. If you have issues, there's information on here. Just follow the directions. So where I installed F4 Radar was in the tools of my Falcon BMS folder. So I went to Tools. And I put it in here as F4 Radar. Once you do that, go to the application, right click on it, create a shortcut, put that shortcut on your desktop to make it easier to get to. After that, go to your install folder, go to bin, x64, IVC, find your IVC client application, right click, create shortcut, put that shortcut on your desktop. Once you do that, right click on the shortcut on your desktop, go to properties, go into target, and in this target box, Put in the following information. So Outsiders All is now defaulted, so you don't have to worry about that. In your IVC shortcut in the target box, put in K, which is enables you to speak using the F keys without having the BMS window active. That happens a lot because you'll be looking at F4 radar. The S is the default server IP that will be in your IVC client. Once you're in the IVC client, you can change that IP address whenever you want. W is where you enter the password, so you put a W here and you put in the password. If there is no password, you need to remove this or else it will give you an error because it's trying to put in a blank password. Once you have all that, press apply. Once you have your IVC client open, put in the server IP address there, put in your nickname there. Go ahead and press connect. Once you press connect, it will connect to everything. Go to your BMS, launch it, join the server. Once you're start once you're starting to join the server, you would obviously put the IP address. This is my host, so I'm hosting myself. Put in all of that stuff. Make sure you uncheck these two boxes because you already have your IVC client as standalone and BMS does not need to control it. So once you do that, press connect. That's connection established. So in BMS, you click campaign. You click on online and you click on the server you want to join. So you choose the airfield that you're all out of. Everyone's at and you click commit online. So once you're in the server, launch F4 radar. The reason why you want to launch it first is because it resets your UHF frequency. So if you put in your UHF and VHF frequencies, it'll reset it. So make sure you you uh, launch your F4 radar as soon as you can and or remember to put in the frequencies again once you 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 load F4 radar. So once you load F4 radar, it'll be blank. It'll just be a black screen here. There are maps available, so go to File, Load Map. It'll be in your Docs Maps folder for, for the default Korea. If it's not default Korea, your theater may, may or may not have maps. So I'm going to go to Balkans, Docs, Maps, and there's maps here. But your theater may, may or may not have maps available. I'll go back to Korea Air Bases. So I'm going to press Open. It opens it here has all the stuff and once you're on this page then you could just leave it you could minimize it you could put it over somewhere it just doesn't matter now go back to your IVC client there are two frequencies that BMS defaults to it is the UHF is 339750 and the VHF is 1234 usually people use UHF for IVC client or IVC checks but some of them use Victor channel for some reason, so it's always good to have both. Once you have them both in, make sure you press change frequency for both of them or so it could change you to that frequency. If you don't do that, it won't it won't do anything. When you're putting in frequencies, there is no there is no decimal point. If you do put a decimal point in there, it'll be wrong. IVC doesn't have the decimal in there, so just just leave it blank or just leave it empty. Once you do that, you can put that to the side. I'll minimize these so you, you load in your flight. You do whatever you have to do. People do a briefing. Once they do a brief, they'll ex accelerate the time. Once they accelerate the time, if you're not going to, into 3D, you have to accelerate the time. So go ahead and go time 16. At this point, you will be looking at this screen, and it'll go pretty weird because everything's going 16 times they were. So this is going super fast now because it's going 16 times, and this will go through its thing. Once everyone gets into game, it'll go back to times 1. And you'll see everybody taking off from the, the airfield there. Puma 7, Get Gazelle 5, Panther 6. 
And as you see on my mouse, you see the bullseye there, 10363. When you go over someone, it'll be the same bullseye, 08221. And the symbology, how to read that is right here, the aircraft call sign. If it's friendly, it'll be green. You will have an actual aircraft call sign. In this case, it's Falcon 11. You'll have aircraft altitude and MSL, just the first three digits. So this is 3, 31,300 feet. This is the aircraft vector, so it's going to the west. This is the true airspeed of the aircraft. You just add a zero, so 430 knots. If you have a, a enemy, they will be red. It'll have the contacts number in group. It'll also do on the, the friendly side of the contacts there. So the number of contacts in that group, that means they're close together and it, and it will not separate them. If someone is nearby, a friendly is nearby, you will get the aircraft type and the country of origin. If no one is nearby, it'll just be blank like, uh, like this here. So you have the bogey 729, a ge generic name. So you got some probably hostiles here at Bullseye 28993. There's two, and there's 16,000. You don't know what type it is. To move around on the screen, by default, it is right-click for moving around, and it's left-click for creating this little line, this, uh, the, the ruler. I have changed that. I went to Edit, Options, and you click this inverse mouse buttons, and that makes it a little bit easier for me. So now, left click is to, to pan, and right click is to use the ruler. So that's just a basic understanding of how to use I, uh, Falcon uh, F4 radar. I'm not going to go over this, but hopefully you learned something, and let me know if you want to learn anything else. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching. See ya.